here we are, July 5th, 2018. Another epic July 4th has come and gone, and never has it been more clear where the stakes are for humanity. But I want to make a point. There's a Churchill quote, I'm paraphrasing it, that many people get hit by history. They get run over in the street by huge, big, epic developments, and they kind of dust themselves off and ignore the point in history that they're in. But there are other people that get hit by destiny and hit by history, and they get up and it changes the course of their lives and countless other people's lives. And so I want people to remember that the hundreds of millions that died under communism and the tens of millions that died under fascism and other cults and permutations of governmental control and, and societal mental illness manifest by government, that we are on the precipice of a new global revolution, a new renaissance. And we're actually, because of other people's work before us, sitting on a great brain trust of human liberty, and that we've got a chance to fight for freedom when the odds are actually on our side if we realize it. And we've got to look back on those that didn't have a chance to win, but took action and did what was right because it was about their soul and about the spiritual, cultural, human decision they were making. And that's why they were fulfilled. So again, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for your support. I want to thank you all for your prayers. I want to thank you all for what you've done against the bullies and the peer pressure over the years because if it wasn't for you and if it wasn't for everything you'd done, we wouldn't be here. Many of those people aren't here today that stood up for what was right. But in their gut, they believed in you and they believed in me and they believed that we could build a better future. They had goodwill towards people. They didn't want to use the fact that they had more knowledge than the average person to control that person. They didn't want to use the fact that they understood how the game was played to then set up a little secret cabal and feed on people. They had the true vision of human empowerment and the true mastery to empower others and bring them to the next level. They were Christ-like in their duty, in their focus, in their sacrifice, in their commitment. And so that's why it's obnoxious. It's, it's flagrant. It's, it's, it's arrogant. It's narcissistic. It's satanic to make the victories we're having about Trump or about Infowars or about anybody else. It's about you and your awakening and the decisions you've made. So I just want to tell you, as we've passed through this July 4th, 2018, as the globalists launched their riots and their attacks and their lies and their moralizing, that have good cheer, my friends, because we're living in a time and age when the devil knows the time is short, so he sends the beast with wrath. And their whole world government systems here, the mark of the beast, it's going to be a lot of trials, a lot of tribulations, but... We know the truth, and we know who wins, and we know where this all goes. And so that's a very positive fact to understand. All that matters is what you stand for. All that matters is not being a coward and not feeding on people that aren't as smart as you. And the minute you realize that, you're in God's arms forever, and these Satanists and these Crowleyites and these Democrats and these Chai Coms and all these control freaks who want to control reality, who want to try to become a god because they merge with AI technology, they don't understand. They already had a connection to God. They were already an expression of God's consciousness in the universe, and there was no need to ever even do that. But that's why we have free will. Some people will fall to the lower dimension. Some people will rise and ascend towards a communion and a reunification with Christ. And that's the big choice. And that's why I know you've made the right choice. You're not going to find Christ in these whorehouse churches. That's where the literal globalists run the operation via the World Council of Churches. But you're going to find the real Christ in your heart, seeking after God and saying, I want to be a good person. I want to be just. I want to be honorable. I'm going to tell the truth. So again, are those of us here when we're seeing this great awakening, the heroes? No. The heroes are those in communist China and North Korea and old Soviet Russia and countless other places like Cuba that were tortured and murdered and killed and watched their children go to prison because they didn't deny God and the truth. And to them on this July 4th, I want to thank you all and thank you for 1776 Worldwide. God bless you all.